Hello and welcome. To What's up, Paul? To Paul. Other Paul? To Paul, who now lives in a different area of the area. Hello. I have to finish <laughs> uh, leveling my character. Because for wow. some reason, I definitely thought we were 1130. <laughs> wow. I also need to rename, because I'm not Boots. Wow. Well, instead, you're doing the big dumb. <laughs> the big dumb. I, need to, I mean, it's just two levels. I just need to figure what class I want. I think I want to do it monk, so I can do the shadow step, don't I? Uh. What level monk are you? <laughs> are you four uh, monk? I am five. I'm oh, five in only, each right now. You only do you only need to do one level at monk to get shadow step. You get it at six. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Why are you telling me this? We'll do that maybe. Does that make it work? Okay, that's that's happier. That's much happier. Paul, are you alive? Your audio quality is as bad as my lighting. It almost sounds like you're not going through a microphone. And also you're on the other side of a tunnel that's really far away. I'll be right back. Mm. Mm. I'd be cool. I heard that a little bit. I heard that a little. But like what Cal said, in a far distant galaxy, or in a galaxy, far, far away. Should I continue to level Monk or Rogue, guys? Whatever benefits you the most. I kind of have... I'm six Bard and seven Efficiency. Warlock. Efficiencies, two stories. I can now cast Armor of Agathis at the fourth you can. level. <laughs> huh? The what? I don't know, I think my, uh, my headset's shitting out. Oh no. Because I can't get it to play audio, either. I can still, still hear everything through my, um, laptop. Well, damn. That's bad. But can you can you guys hear me at least semi okay? Yeah, I mean, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, we can hear you better than we could before. Cool. Yeah, I unplugged the uh, inputs from the little dongle and replugged them back in. Hey, there you go. So I need this to be. Sorry, I got to pull up everything for what's happening today. Because today is going to be a non-canon adventure. Okay. Oh, like the fucking arcade one? <laughs> uh, yeah, kinda. <laughs> but... Fucking Mario Brothers. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> okay, you, you gotta admit, that was fun. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but no, this is... Uh, I figure since we're not doing, or since we won't be playing uh, next week or the week after, um, I didn't really want to start anything story-driven. Right. 
So. Yeah, that's fair. Does that did that help? A bit, yeah. Okay. Well, I, yeah, I disabled the other microphone on my laptop at least for now. Yeah, I mean, it sounds pretty good. All right. Cool. Um. Also, I have this. <laughs> This is why. Nice. You, this is why you don't give a large child adult money. Gee. <laughs> is that metal? No. Okay. But I have both of them. <laughs> Understandable. And once we move, oh, hang on. Courtney's in chat, and she wants to see what I'm talking about. Hold on, Courtney. So, the things to which I was referring are this, which is my my fun little Thor's hammer, my little bappy boy, and this, because I'm a kid, and I wanted them. Yeah, absolutely. I'll That's fair. Cap's shield is sitting back here next to Mewtwo. I've got a great little nerd corner going on. I remember at one point I said I was going to show it off on TikTok, uh, and then I never did because, you know. But yeah, this thing is actually four feet tall. Jesus. <laughs> Damn. Um, but yeah, so I'm super excited about today. Because uh, this is going to be fun, and then also, uh, after this, I get to go back upstairs, and um, we've got some um, Cajun scalloped potatoes that we're cooking up right Ooh. now. Ooh. Um, that sounds good. Food. And those are going to be uh, consumed later, because we're doing a little... Um, little Christmas get together with our friends today. We're doing our hey. little friends miss deal and they're doing cornbread and a shrimp boil so we're bringing desserts I want and... Cornbread? <sighs> hey, everybody wants cornbread. And yes, Courtney. Always. That is my little bappy boy. Bappy boy. And my bappy boy makes me a happy boy. Um, I would just like to mention that when I go into my drive to pull up my notes for this stuff <clears throat> when apparently I didn't put it like, use them the last time but it said that it hadn't been edited in over a year and then when I actually opened it it said last time edited was September 12th and I was like yeah I agree Google that was a year ago <laughs> <laughs> September 12th was hella did you just stop taking notes because you guys were in combat every week uh, I think I have notes written like physically written down but I don't have it with me I think it's in the other room Okay. but we're at a good spot to just like resume notes and I'll figure that out later. Cool. And yeah, like I said, we won't be, there won't be a reason for you to resume notes today because it's a non canon, non canon adventure. Woo. But we can go ahead and get started. And now let, let, me, let me give you some background for why this adventure is going to be the way it is. Okay. It fucking snowed. I saw. It's fucking with my lighting. Pissing me off. Didn't think it was going to do that. <laughs> I'm mad. Actually, I'm not. I love the snow. but I hate the snow. But it makes things slippery. And I like to wear Vans. And Vans don't Ooh. have good grip. The vans themselves are slippery. Yes. But also, it's, uh, it's Christmas time. Yeah. We're getting towards the holiday season. I mean, right now is Hanukkah, just saying. That's true. That and is true, yeah. if we have any uh, viewers or listeners who celebrate Hanukkah, happy Hanukkah from the Game Daddy's family. Today, Cheers, mate. however, um, we will be recreating uh, a classic after-school special. Today, we will be playing... A fun little thing that I have entitled The Hunt Saves Christmas. Oh no! Originally <laughs> named after Kiss Saves Santa. Um, 
Well, it's a good thing I didn't decide to join the event on your on that one. <laughs> oh well, yeah. I mean, yeah. So for for those of you watching and Zach, I'm not sure if you saw the posts, but um, uh, our local hookah lounge, Hookah 402, will be hosting um, a one shot RPG night, and uh, I will be running a game um, that will be similar to this i'll have i may have to change some story elements but um and then uh, a friend of the show josh will be running a uh, a game of blades in the dark which is another ttrpg um that's what i'm doing which hey i might be i i told him that if he doesn't get like a fourth table when it gets close let me know and i'll put together one otherwise i'll just like join in and play in one of the one shots cool um and then the owner of the lounge, Marco, he's going to be running a game uh, in a system that I've never heard of before, which is like, I can't remember the name of it, but it's... Uh... It does with like Chinga blocks or something, yeah. I think you said. Yeah. yeah, it's like a tabletop RPG where, I don't know if it's like your rolls or something, but but something comes from Jenga blocks. Yeah, I've not heard of that. I think so... it's like your actions or something, like... So hey, I'm, I want I'm, to like jump to this cliff. Okay, draw, you know, pull a block. X amount it, of tiles. Yeah. If it pull falls, a block at a random event. <laughs> yeah. Um No, I'm super interested to see how that one runs. But today today's not about that cuz today is not Tuesday, December 22nd starting at around 6 p.m. Santa. Today is right now. And right now, it's time to play D&D. Can you guys tell that I'm tired? Yeah. Yes, a little bit. Me too. Okay, good. I only got like two hours of sleep. I got a good amount of sleep, but um, this is like one of the first nights recently where I have. I got good sleep last night, and my body was like, hey, remember how that felt? Let's do that for like four or five days straight. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, so it um, probably also doesn't help that the brightness of the snow outside is straining on your eyes. Oh yeah, makes you tired more. But that's why it's got... a balmy uh, fifty-two degrees here. It's a balmy. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi. Ignore me. I look gross. Wow. Hello, oh, my lovers. Oh, man. Hello. Look at how cute I was. Oh, my gosh, show them. That was one of my favorite dresses. I'll just go ahead and... Uh, so, that is uh, oh, a baby version that of smile. my life. Oh, so adorable. <laughs> and under my hand... Be nice. That's her... Uh, a younger version of her older sister, Jess. Okay. Oh, my God, so are you, Courtney. <laughs> Courtney, you are beautiful... And you are incapable of being anything but a goddess. I worship you. Sorry, I'm reading the chat. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go find something for my mom. And then shower. I love you. Love you. Um, uh, Courtney says that she worships you. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, so the other thing that put me in a mood this morning was, yeah, it snowed. I like snow. Cool. Um, from where I sit, I can look out into the backyard. And normally it would be covered in just a pristine white layer of snow. But no. There's a standing straight up in the air because it's cold Temple of Doom shaped dog turd just (laughs) ruining everything that I'm seeing right now. (laughs) Okay. That's that's beside the point. We've been talking for 15 minutes and we haven't done anything that's D&D. So, All right. let's do it. Um, so you guys have been wandering about, gathering strength, doing various missions for Zero, and um, you've been rewarded as such, whatever. You know, your level's a little higher right now. You know, you got a little bit stronger on you. Mm-hmm. Um, and... <clears throat> You guys, excuse me, have worked your way up into, uh, there's a small kind of mountainous, like mountain village kind of deal. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, you guys are in, what was that? And why did it sound like a cat fart? 
<laughs> was like your co-host like dragged across my mic? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Um, did we did we long rest after the last in- excursion? Uh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. This is kind of like a time skip. <laughs> yeah, this is this is between <laughs> times, so you're you're rested up and everything. <laughs> But, no, you didn't rest ever since like five years ago. Yeah, you, <laughs> you, you haven't actually rested. haven't slept in like seven and a half months. Um, <laughs> no, no, so you guys are in this this um, mountain village. There's snow on the ground, super pristine, super beautiful. Um, you know, you're surrounded by all these big pine trees, and um, up towards you know up towards the north end of town, um, you know, you go up a little mountain. There's uh, some kind of good overlook spots up there um and there's a river that runs down the mountain kind of through um through on the on the east side of town and you guys get there and um you know the the townsfolk welcome you they're used to seeing adventurers just because this is a a very beautiful kind of outlook spot you can see over the whole the whole area and um as you guys are are kind of walk around talking uh Paulbert you're not talking because you know bird um you're squawking and playing little drummer boy I would assume yeah definitely still hell yeah <laughs> um so yeah you guys are doing that uh and you are just kind of milling about the town um and you hear a scream coming from near the east side of town I uh immediately use mimic and copy it <laughs> there's like so i hear a scream you. and i just go ah! <laughs> <laughs> right, well, was... i will head towards the i will head towards the screen after like giving you a scolding glance hell yeah uh gazeroth are you going with him too or are you hanging back my hair's kind of like stood up like as I heard like both of those screams and like the chills got to me because it's freaking cold outside. <laughs> and I decide to grumpily like follow. Cool. Pouting. While, while playing on my drum, I'm also following the scream while still screaming. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. Um, so yeah, you guys, uh, you guys go over band when you're kind of taking the lead. Um, you get to the edge of town um, on the bank of the river, and you see that there is a little girl uh, and her mother, and the little girl is pointing at the river, and the mother is just standing there, hand over her mouth, paralyzed in fear, because they don't know what's going on. And you look, and the normally clean, crisp, clear river has begun to run red. Do we see, like, where the red is coming from? Well, you know that the river flows downhill. I say we go uphill. Yeah, let's start going upstream. Follow the red stream. Okay. Follow the red stream. I'll stop screaming. (laughs) Thank you. Follow the, follow the, follow the, follow the, follow the red stream. Yeah, so you guys, uh, you guys do the thing. You're you're working your way up the, um, working your way up the river, um, mm-hmm. and I need everyone to roll perception check, please. Gotcha. That's a uh, nat twenty, so a thirty-one. Okay, show off. I got a I got a nine. I got a twenty-two. Cool. So not Banrin, everyone else. <laughs> yeah, usually. Uh, you guys see um, that on both sides of the river, um, there are these little kind of uh, mushroom circles. Uh, and it looks like part of the circle has been dragged toward the river. Um, you see the dirt's kind of disturbed, but not like... Not to the point where it looks like something like busted out of the ground or anything. Um, but yeah, circles of mushrooms on either side of the river um, that have kind of slopes into the river. 
And as you guys look around, um, Paubert especially, you see that there are more of these kind of mushroom circles um, as you get further up into the mountain. Okay, so the red is coming from these circles, correct? Uh, you can't tell. Oh. Hmm. Uh, can I roll investigation to try to figure out what these mushrooms are? Uh, yeah, go ahead. a 16 plus 4 so dirty 20 um you can tell um why don't you roll roll me an insight check as well it's a 19 plus 3 22 okay hot dice cool <laughs> yeah my <laughs> dice are hot today <laughs> um so you go and investigate, and like I said before, you don't. It doesn't look like this is something um, where something has popped out of the ground. Um, hell yeah! It does look, however, like this is something. And with your insight check as well, you can tell that this is some sort of um, some sort of magic that's been used as a teleportation almost, uh, and you can tell that whatever teleported was not originally on this plane of existence and these mushroom circles pockmarked across the across the landscape these are um, you can tell that this is where they landed whatever they are okay uh to convey this to the rest of the group i'm just gonna kind of point at the mushrooms and go <laughs> you just spit okay. at it good to know yeah, so... <laughs> you know what that means, right? 100%. Yeah. Totally. We've, we've traveled with him long enough. Yeah, cool. long enough. Um, yeah, so you guys... Um, Paul, you're able to deduce that, and you very astutely spread that to the rest of the group. Um, and you guys have walked up the river, um, and you are getting kind of more into the mountainy, kind of like the foothills, um, starting to get a little bit rockier, a little bit less foresty. Um, there are still trees around, but there's also, um, the, the incline is starting to get a lot steeper. And, um, everybody give me another perception check. Thirty-two. Twenty. Okay. Eighteen. 24. Okay. <laughs> so you guys all see it. Uh, and hear it, actually. So you guys hear, um, there's some little, uh, some little almost grumbling sounds that you guys hear. Uh, and they are coming from the backside of, um, there's kind of like a, a, a row of bushes, almost. Um, kind of like on an embankment. Um, and you guys hear there's some grumbling coming from behind there. And you also see that there are um, what look to be like um, little bundles of berries on the top of the bush. Okay. Do they look similar to like the, the mushroom circles that we saw? Um, not necessarily. These are berries, not mushrooms. Yeah. <laughs> um. Hmm. Uh, can I do a nature check to see if they're poisonous? Um, or if I would know if they're poisonous? Um... Yeah, go ahead and, um, yeah, you'll have to walk up on them and, um, but, yeah, you can go ahead and, and take a look-see. Six. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, As I said it, I realized I have a plus zero in nature, it's fine. Cool, 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 Hey, uh... Um, he rolls the dice. Hey, what's your armor class? Uh, uh, 19. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. So, 
Uh, hang on just a second. Oh, no. Uh, da, 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 that one and that one. Eh. So that is... Um, so you, Bandron, you walk up to the bush and you start to kind of look at the berries. Mm -hmm. You think they're berries. Excellent. Until you hear, hey, what the fuck? And uh, two sickles come at you from out of the bush and slash across your chest for 16 damage. Everyone roll initiative. Oh, oh damn. These berries hurt. Quite rude. Uh, Eighteen. Okay. Eleven. What did you roll for an eleven? <laughs> what I uh, I rolled a four. <laughs> I was gonna say I was like you have something. You both have just insanely high initiative modifiers. 27? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, that's the norm, but no. Exactly. I was like, what did you? What would you have had to roll? Good uh, lord. Uh, so, Gazeroth, you are first. You see Weird. Vanryn get hit with two sickles from a bush. <laughs> well, I'm alert, as I usually am alert anyway. And we get ready for battle. I'm guessing I'm first, like I usually am. Well, that's why I that's why uh, yeah. I told you what you saw and <laughs> asked you what you're doing. All right, one, one second. One. Just give me one quick second. Okay, well he's doing that. I'm going to tell you guys about the Cajun seasoning mix that I made, that I uh, mixed up today. Yes. It smells really good. It's got like white pepper, black pepper, cayenne, mm -hmm. a little bit of thyme in there, some oregano in there. I'm really excited about it, honestly. Like I've made some Cajun seasonings before. Mm -hmm. But I think this one is going to be my most flavor flavorful one, just because uh, for previous iterations I haven't had cayenne. Like the last one I did, I had to use adobo seasoning, which mm. ended yeah, up really good, but it's not the same. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with casting at the fourth level motivational speech. <clears throat> <clears throat> not only... Uh, before I do a motivational pre-battle speech, um, everyone gains 10 temporary hit points and has advantage on wisdom saving throws. Uh, if the affected creature is hit by an attack, it has advantage on the next attack roll it makes. Uh, once an infected creature loses temporary hit points granted by the spell, the spell ends for that creature. Okay. Yes. All right. And... <clears throat> We shall go our way into battle, and we shall be accompanied by the spirit of millions of our martyrs, our ancestors tortured and burned for their faith, our murdered fathers and butchered mothers, our murdered brothers and strangled children. And in this battle, we shall break the enemy and bring salvation to our party. Tried in the furnace of persecution, Thirsting only for our freedom, <laughs> for righteousness, and for justice. <laughs> Banron from the bush, you hear. That guy's pretty good. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, and as uh, for my bonus action, I'm going to go ahead and... I'm gonna send my dancing short sword at the closest little little munchkin. I'm guessing little little um, tiny thing. Do we see them now? They have not jumped out of the bush yet. 
they just swung their sickles. So um, you can definitely uh, attack one. It will be at disadvantage, though. Okay. Gotcha. All right, I'll go ahead and do that. Cool. Um, all right first one is 26 second one is a dirty 20 that'll hit all right and then i'm also going to use up one of my bardic inspirations oh i can't do that never mind oh yeah i can i definitely can uh to add my two d6 actually hold on it's 3d6 now <laughs> Of okay, psychic nice. damage. Do you have to be able to see it for the psychic blade? Let me check. When I hit a creature with a weapon attack. Okay. All right. I forgot that he has that. <laughs> That's okay. This is not. This is Nine, not the real combat. Nineteen. Gotta figure. Twenty-six. Fuck. Uh, Banron from the bushy here. Ow! Fuck. All right. <laughs> uh, and it is actually your turn. Perfect. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do burning hands at the third level, uh, towards this bush. It. Burn them! <laughs> and so they will have to make a dexterity 16 saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> I laugh because. Uh, oh, whoops, I pushed the wrong button. Dex is not their strong suit. They roll with disadvantage, and they got a natural 5 and a natural 2. <laughs> Oof. So. Okay, beautiful. So now they're going to take um, 5d6. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> At Burning Hands, it says flammable things catch fire, correct? Uh, yeah. Cool. Was, uh, that aren't being worn or carried. Cool. So after you roll damage, we're going to do something else. 19, unfortunately. 19 damage? Yeah. Uh, the last run I rolled was a one. I was like, fuck, whatever. Well, you offed the first one. Nice. I need <laughs> you to roll a... Let's let's have you start with a luck check. Oh, gosh. You Same. want to be uh, 16 or higher. Oh, God. I rolled a shit you not in that one. <laughs> Okay. Oh no. Uh, roll a percentage. Oh, good God. Uh, this one and this one. Uh, 100. <laughs> or, no, sorry. That's. Um, how did I. Wait. So that's a one. 91. 91? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's the range on Burning Hands? The range is 15 feet. Cool. So, you do this. 90% of the forest within 15 feet is now on fire. Oh, cool. Fuck them berries. <laughs> Shouldn't have pissed me off. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. We'll deal with that. We'll deal with that soon. Um, uh, Albert. Yeah. Unless Ben, Ben, do you have any um, bonus actions, anything like that? Uh, I. No, I'll. Just... You stay where I'm at. That's fine. Okay. Uh, Paulbert, you're up. All right. So I'm chilling by banner and just see the forest go up in flame. Uh, I do. 
I'm assuming I can't really get close now without taking fire damage. Cool. Um, they will take fire damage at the beginning of... Well, I guess the last one will take fire damage at the beginning of its turn. Uh, Alright, so... <laughs> I can't even attack. Um, <laughs> I, I would like to uh, go towards the river and fill up a cup with water. <laughs> okay and then throw it on a little patch on the bush <laughs> actually okay. just kidding I... so you would be okay. able you'd be able to um, make an attack if you end your turn within five feet of the fire you'll take fire damage at the beginning of your next turn I'm I'm just like splashing the water i'm not getting close to it cool so the water I'm does bird. i don't want to be kfc <laughs> <laughs> so one single cup of water does nothing always very sad <laughs> um i'll i'll go stealth so anyone looking doesn't think it was me <laughs> we know it's you <laughs> uh you, you we we know we you, notice you do that Good job. Okay. You, you don't want me to roll for it? No. <laughs> Why not? I just have a plus 13. That's fine. Because <laughs> now it's my turn. Uh, and... Can we see them? <laughs> well, if you'd let me take my damn turn. <laughs> Jesus. Um... <clears throat> So, uh, Gazaroth. Yes, sir. I would like you to make a dex save at disadvantage. I get disadvantage anyway. Oh, I get doubled. Ew. 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 I don't like this. Okay. Actually... I might be okay. All right, that's that's twenty one. Okay. And nineteen. Cool. Um. So the the fun thing that these little guys can do, um, missed because you passed your deck save uh, and Banron you will actually get an opportunity attack so go ahead and take your Sweet. opportunity attack how oh, fun oh that's not gonna I don't think let's see action attack so uh, 12 12 does not hit mm. unfortunately yeah I rolled a 2 <laughs> um, so you guys see bouncing out of this bush well he's actually gonna take some f some f Fire Damage. With the rest of the forest. <laughs> uh, so he's at that now. Um, but you guys see this little kind of goblin elf looking guy. He's got this scraggly white beard. Um, and he's got his sickle in his hand. And he's wearing these huge clunky heavy iron boots. Um, and Banron, you see him take his sickle and flip it upside down and jam it into the ground and use it like a fucking springboard and he just launches himself boots first at Gazaroth uh, and Gazaroth you're able to duck out of the way and he flies through the air and sticks in a tree that was right behind you <laughs> alright that's pretty solid as a free action, can I set the cup on him? <laughs> I mean, he hasn't used his reaction, so yeah, go ahead. I'm going to set the cup on him. Do it, do it. Okay. <laughs> he can't do anything because uh, you didn't leave his effective range, you entered it. Mm -hmm. uh, but Gazroth, that's back around to your turn. So he's stuck in a tree? Yeah, feet first. Covered by a cup? With a cup on. Oh man. Well, um Okay. Uh 
And actually, uh, before you get into your turn, can you roll me... Let's see. Um, roll me uh, a d8. Okay. Two. Two? Cool. Um, so, as you guys have been fucking around with this little dude, uh, another... 20 feet of forest has caught on fire. <laughs> cool. I tried to put it out. I tried. But now it's your turn, Gazeroth. Alright, well, my... I start glancing at my, my index finger and looking at this poor, helpless creature that's being heavily just humiliated right now. And my finger starts sparking with a charge... And I prepare three Eldritch Blasts straight, straight through, <laughs> just aiming it right at this poor, helpless thing. <laughs> Spirit so, gun. 100 I, volts of electricity straight to the nipples. Uh, more like a <laughs> spirit gun or a spirit shotgun or spirit, like, triple Wait, blast. So how are you doing three? three of them uh because i mean I, I guess at my level my total beams are three for eldritch blast um spell creates more than one beam when you reach higher levels two beams at the fifth level three beam three beams at the 11th level it says total beams three so okay. it's an additional from the first beam okay uh yeah i guess roll to hit three times so i'll roll three that one is a 16. That one is a 15. And then that one's a 21. All three of them are going to hit. All right. Seven, seven, and eight. So four, uh, 14 plus eight, 22. <clears throat> Congratulations. You did exactly enough damage to spirit gun this dude into the next world. <laughs> Alright, great. Spanron, roll me a d4, please. Obliterate! <laughs> One. Okay. So, another five feet. So we've got a total of 40 square feet of forest that is on fire right now. Yoke. And it's your turn. Perfect. Um, it's 40 square feet. So I'm going to do... Did you have summon water? Or something yeah. like that? Yeah. Um... I'm going to do create water at the create or destroy water at the fourth level um, and have it uh, fall as a cube, you know, a 45 foot cube in that area, just rain of about, it would be um, like 40 gallons of water. Okay. Because I feel bad. <laughs> uh yeah you you successfully rain enough to put out the raging forest fire that was also your fault while i do it i sing um toto africa <laughs> um that song is uh hang on i gotta find it because I made a revelation about that song earlier oh this week. I think I sent it to Sammy. Or maybe I sent it to Courtney. Um, that song is about a, uh, a werewolf living in Africa. And if I can find it, I'll explain to you why. 
Okay, it must have been Courtney. Courtney, did I send you that? Answer in chat. And if I did, remind me of why I, why I said that. Um, yeah, so you guys are able to put out the fire, finish the, uh, you know, finish the fight, and um, now you're in a charred chunk of forest. Probably easier to see things, though. Yeah. Sure. Um, and you can continue to follow the river up if you would like. Um, you see there's kind of a path that goes up the mountain a little ways to um, what looks like it could be a landing or a wraparound or something like that. Um, yeah, you guys are... Uh, that's where you're at. Uh, as we're walking, can I do another perception check to try to see any clues or beings that like came into that world from the mushrooms uh yes roll you can roll perception okay that's a uh, 28 uh there are none right here but you can tell that they have been in this area and more of them have been in this area than just the two you guys just fought do they did they leave like a trail or anything? Um, roll. Roll me a nature check. Oh no! I feel like we burned it. All the evidence. <laughs> oh no! That's a uh, nineteen. So like ninety percent of the evidence is burned. <laughs> um, but you do <laughs> see. Um, you do see that there are some iron clomp prints going away from the river, kind of headed up the mountain. All right, yeah, let's go. I say we follow those, yeah. Follow the tracks. Okay. Um, so you guys start following the tracks. Um, we should be in sneak mode. If you would I'm like still in stealth. Luck. If you would like to be in sneak mode, um, you guys can roll stealth, but at this point, the snow is starting to pile up on the ground, so you will be rolling your stealth at disadvantage. I already do. Well, I mean, I can always put you in invisible. <laughs> you get a 13. <laughs> okay, that's not bad. Um... I would actually... It's kind of hard for me not to lose. <laughs> well, my first roll is a nat 20, which is 34. And then my second roll is a um, nat 15, which is can I? 29. I'm just going to spend a couple key points and use pass without trace for us. I love it. That so. works too. Yeah. All right. So everybody add 10 to your stealth, whatever. All right, cool. Yeah. Well, um... <laughs> so you got 23, and they're in, like, the 40s or whatever. I got 39. <laughs> yeah, so you guys are stealthy as farts. Whatever, cool. Um, you guys are wandering up this hill, um, and as you get to the top, it kind of levels out a bit. Um, and you can see that there is... Um, what looks like a small uh, encampment here. There are a couple of larger buildings and some tents around. Uh, and then at the back of the encampment, you see a cave entrance. Uh, can I go up to the encampment and do a perception check, see if anyone's there? Yeah, go ahead. Right. Uh... That's uh, nine, so dirty twenty. There are so <laughs> many dead elves here. Ooh. I loot the bodies. <laughs> uh, they're all naked. <laughs> all right, so all of them, I'm gonna the, draw a, a mustache 20, on one of their faces. With a dirty twenty, you do see that um, all of the valuables uh, and anything that would have been used to identify these elves. Uh, has been brought to the center of the encampment and burned. Wow. But there are 16 I look at Banner and accusingly. Here. I didn't do this one. <laughs> this one. 
All right, so uh, in in the cave, I suppose. Yeah, let's 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 check the cave. Okay. Um, roll me perception checks, bef- either perception or survival, before you go in. Fifteen. That's a a thirty. Seven. <laughs> okay. Uh, Banrin, you see a cave. Yeah. There's definitely There's like one of entrance. those here. There's an entrance there, uh, into, the, into the wall. Yeah, Gazeroth, you see um, that there are footprints. You see that this is kind of a, a heavy, more heavily trafficked um, area. Uh, and Paulbert, you see that you can kind of count the the number of prints. Um, you see at least three heavy pairs of boots. And um, you also see what looks like it could be uh, a drag, like a trail of something was dragged in here. Okay. That's just kind of a happy moment. I'd like to point out my passive perception is a 21. (laughs) Gross. Mine's not. All right. Uh, well, since we're all stealthy, I think we should, uh, you know, go in this cave. Proceed. Yeah, let's keep on keeping on. Uh, Polly is definitely debating taking out his drum. By the way. Don't. We are stealth. Yeah, we're stealth mode. Stop it. Oh man. Polly knows the acoustics in this cave would be wonderful. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys uh, work your way into the cave. Um. It, everything seems pretty normal right now. Uh, it's it just feels like a cave, um, but coming from the back of the cave, you hear kind of a muffled, uh, a muffled voice that doesn't sound like. Um, it doesn't sound like one of the, one of the little angry guys' voices. It sounds deeper and and more. Human. Hmm. All right. Yeah. Let's head to the back. I want to head to the back. Yep. I'll I'll be behind Banner, but following. Sneakily. Cool. Uh, so you guys get into the back of the cave that kind of opens up a little bit. Um, you see that there are some stalactites hanging from the ceiling, some stalagmites on the ground. Um, and you see that there are three of these little iron shoe guys in here. Do we see the thing that was being drug? No. Okay. okay. Is it well lit, or is there, like, kind of shadowy areas? I mean, it's a cave. Okay. These guys, uh, let me see if they've got dark vision. Um, they do not have dark vision, so it's, it's, um, it's not well lit, but it's dimly lit. There are a couple of torches around. It's enough for us to see. (laughs) Oh, yeah. 100%. But yeah, that's what you guys see right now. Hmm. What are they doing? Uh, like... They're just kind of sitting in the middle of the room. Looks like they might be throwing dice. Can we listen into their conversation? I mean, yeah. They're not talking about much. They're just talking about gambling. Well, so they could most likely, they're just unaware people that can be very uh, aggressive towards us like the other ones. I would like to use Shadow Step. (laughs) Teleport. (laughs) I got thunderstep. Ooh, thunderstep. Shadow step. Oh, oh no. Combo. Combo. Um, we can so we can try. I'm down. You would have to shadow step into one of their shadows, and then you will definitely not be stealth anymore. But I will let you get a surprise round. But a thunderstep, I can take him with me to their location. Then he shadow steps. Why would he need to shadow step after though? Oh, yeah, well, if we thunderstep there, 
ultimately, I, I just teleport the to goal shadow. would be yeah. for him to shadow step with you over there, and then you thunder step back, because yeah. thunder step deals damage where you leave. Right. Mm-hmm. But also, you're in a cave, and thunder oh, yeah. step is we'll, fucking. We'll wild. have to do another one of those ear checks. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm thunder. definitely shadow stepping behind one of them. You guys still have temporary health. Attacking. <laughs> Do. Okay. Roll with advantage. Okay. To attack, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, that's a nat 20 first roll. Well, you don't need to roll with advantage. <laughs> so I do your 75,000 damage or whatever it is with all your sneak attack. <laughs> Wait, does my sneak attack... I, I know, is that 3d6? Did that go up? That doubles on a crit. Oh, yeah. I Yeah, I'm just seeing if it's like 4d6 Maybe four now, now or something. Except yeah. we're going to do... We're going to start doing crits differently. It's not going to be just straight double damage. So, like, if you crit on a d8 roll, you'll take 8 plus your roll. Okay. So um, you would take so... max damage from one set plus oh. the roll for the others. That way you're not immediately like doubling your damage, but you still have a good chance to deal a lot of damage. So I roll a d8 and 3d6. So what I So that would be do that roll and then a 8 and then 3 sixes. Uh so you would roll take whatever just roll your d8 and 3d6s mm-hmm. and then uh, add, add 26. 26 to that. Okay, so I got a 21 plus 26. Cool. 47. Um, so plus... you fucking... It doesn't even matter. You <laughs> shadow step behind this fucking red cap and just drop your sword through the like the nape of his neck and his head just kind of falls off. Uh, and then I'll attack again at the at another one. <laughs> so I can attack twice. <laughs> that is a seventeen to hit. Seventeen hits. That is oh I rolled a one, that's sad. Uh, 15 damage. Okay. And then I'll also bite him for fun, too. Uh, let's see, that'd be plus my dex. So, 15? Yes. Alright, and that just is straight dex. So, 5 points of damage. Okay. He's best. Can't imagine why. <laughs> um, and the shadow step was a bonus action, so. So you actually I am... would not get to bite him. No, that's part of my attack, I believe. Uh, I thought the bite would count it as your as um, a bonus action unarmed strike. I. Uh, Part of being either a rogue or monk is when I make a attack, I can also do a melee attack. As a bonus action. It's a monk thing. Oh, as a bonus action. Yep. Okay, never mind. Take back the bite. Cool. Bummer. Yeah, big bummer, but I'm used to playing monks. I love monks. I miss Ron. Ron was my big dumb Goliath monk. Mm. Who tried to solo an adult red dragon that was high on PCP. With his <laughs> only weapon being someone's spine. That's dangerous. I <laughs> did not win. That's <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> um, Paul Bert, roll me a dex save at disadvantage. Alright. a 24 for the first roll and a 23 for the second Jesus at disadvantage 
Yeah, I'm proficient in dex. I have a plus nine on saving throws. Me too. Fuck Except Christ. minus two. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> fuck off then. <laughs> um, you are able to. You see, uh, Banrin, you and and Gazeroth see that, um, up above, holding on to one of the stalactites was another one of these dudes, and he saw Paulbert wreck the first one and just let go and fell boots first to try and land on him uh, and then he did not do that at all but now we're in initiative so everybody okay. make a bat oh Jesus okay that one's better 16 30 22 I think, yeah, that's the usual order of yeah, things. That, that's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a little better. I rolled normal this time. <laughs> uh, and Fan, Fanrun, what did you get? Uh, 16. 16. Cool. And I got... <laughs> cool. Nice. Love that. Okay. Uh, well, gosh, Gazeroth, it seems like you're first. All right, sounds good. I'm gonna go over to uh, to Mr. Polly there, very swiftly, very quickly, and then I cast. I love that spell. Yeah, yeah, that's great. On. It's an amazing spell. <laughs> okay, okay, that's right. Okay, and then. I go ahead and I touch Polly's shoulder and I touch I my two my fingers feathers. to my head. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> thunderstep. <laughs> okay. So You realize this is my, gonna hurt us too. Oh, so yeah. yeah, we got right? temporary hit points. It's okay. You'll be alright. Are you sure? What is it? Yeah. Con saves? Uh yes, con saves. Sixteen. Okay, that is two passes, two failures. Okay. So they'll just take half of the damage on for the failed one. So three. Hi, Paul's two. friend. Yes, Alan was bringing me some soup. Hi, Alan. Nine and ten. Wow. Okay, so... Everyone says hi. Who do I know? 20, 27. He says hello. On the fail saves, it's 27. And then... Eight. Uh, let's see. 27. 13. 13, yeah. 13 Because you round the, down. Half round yeah. down. 13 for those that saved. Uh, and the rest of us take 27? No, no. no. You have to be within feet. 10 feet. So, Paulbert, uh, you'll need to do a... No. No, because he moved. Yeah. He did, but so, you guys are also in a cave. So, exactly. Uh, yeah, we're getting... Roll, I know that. So, roll uh, con saves with advantage. Okay. And if you pass, you will take nothing. Um, what is my con save? I got a 16. What was the save? It's oh, I did not save. Okay. I did not save. Nice. I got 17. I got a 10 and an 8. Cool. Uh, so, Banrin, you take uh, 13. Paulbert, what did you get? Rude. Uh, 16 with a You only took 3 damage. <laughs> Who only took I'm glad three we had damage. advantage because I rolled a 4 the first time. Okay. Oh, yeah, because of the temporary. They took mm -hmm. more damage. It's, it's all right. Cool. We're back to we're back to at our starting point, pretty much. Uh, so, Paulbert, you're next. Uh, cool. Well, I'll. I'm gonna go up to the. Oh, I still have actually... my bonus action. Oh yeah, if you want to do a bonus action, do a yeah. bonus action. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and. You didn't take you didn't take any damage, so it's just. Uh... 
you just took three damage, so you're you'll you'll be you'll be high. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna but go now ahead. he doesn't have advantage on wisdom saves. I don't have advantage on wisdom saves. You'll be okay. Or ten bonus HP. I'll heal you if you need okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> I have big conk. I I got big heals too. It's okay. Um. So let's see. Bonus action time. Let's see. You know what? I'll I'll give you a bardic inspiration. How about that? Thank you. You get a one d eight now. Ooh, one d eight. Yeah. All right, and that'll be my turn. All right. Now it's to Palbert. Nice. Um, I'll go to the one that tried to drop on me and attack him. Okay. Uh, what is? I keep forgetting my plus on my rapier now. Oh, okay. Um, that'll be for the first attack and the second attack. I got a 16 and an 18 for my two attacks. Uh, both hit. First one is 17 damage. Okay. Second one, oh, that wasn't good. Uh, is 13 damage. All right, you kill that guy. Cool. I uh, try to copy his technique, and on my final blow, I'll jump up as high as I can and bring my rapier down on him. <laughs> You see the uh, the other two uh, red caps look at you and they're like, "Not bad, not bad at all." I give him a thumbs up and then bonus action disengage back by Banrin. Cool. <laughs> As I'm disengaging, I will do a little hop and attempt to fly, but still utterly fail. <laughs> right. So now. It's a my turn. And uh, let me look at this instead. Mmm, good. Uh, Paulbert, what's your AC? Uh, 17. Okay. So you don't get hit by this. Nice. The other two of you do get hit by this. How could you? So you guys see one of the stalagmites. You see three of these, like black ropey arm things come out of it and you see one shoots over at Gazaroth and grapples him one shoots at Banrin grapples you one shoots at Palbert misses slap it away with a feather um and both Gazaroth and Banrin are yanked 25 feet straight across the cave, right up next to this thing. Mm -hmm. And you see the stalagmite turns. And there's this gross kind of... Let me, let me pull up a picture. You guys aren't going to see it, but I'll know how to describe Rude. it to you. <laughs> <clears throat> so you guys see um, as the stalagmite turns you see this single red eye opens up and this giant gaping maw just full of teeth and spittle and drool and you also see like kind of um, you remember when um at the end of Infinity War when Thanos just fucking threw um, Bruce in the Hulkbuster armor and he like sunk into the wall. Or like in Pirates of the Caribbean where what's-his-face's dad was part of the ship. 
Mm. Um, you see in this thing's kind of gullet is Santa. All right. And Santa is messed up. beaten very badly. You can see he's got blood running from his ears. And the the uh, the stalagmite is going to make an attack against Santa. Oh, that is a natural three. It does not hit Santa. Ooh. But it is going to make another attack against you, Paulbert, and try and grapple you as well. It does not hit you. Cool. Banrin, your turn. All right. Um, Santa's kind of a beefy guy. How much? Approximately how much HP might he have? Um. Well, he started off this encounter with a bit. Okay. Aren't you grappled? I am grappled. Okay. And yeah, this stalagmite's on the wall. Like, I can't just run up on him. Correct. Oh, you could run up on him. Hundred percent, you could run up on him. So Santa's inside this thing. Yeah, Santa's like. Uh, it looks like this this creature uh, has grappled Santa and started integrating it into like into itself, kind of like it's mm. trying to absorb his magic um, and make him uh, die real hard. Um, if you guys would like, you can use your action on your turn to um, attempt to escape the grapple. Hmm. Well, you're going to have to do that. <laughs> I think I want to do that first. Yes. Okay. What do I have to beat? Is it opposed? Uh, no, it's DC 15. DC 15 for strength? Um, either strength or dex. So you can roll athletics or acrobatics to get out. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Roll the two. So, uh, six? That's not going to do it. All right, cool. For bonus action. Well, don't you want to use your... No. Hmm. I was going to say you have your bardic inspiration. But even if I get an 8, that's only 14. I don't know. Math. Math stupid. Um, math dumb dumb make brain go ow. Yeah, math is dumb. Let's see. Um, I have too many spells. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll catch my spiritual weapon at the... So fourth level. Okay. Um, to attack this creature. Okay. That's holding my buddy. Santa's my buddy, I guess. Um, by the way, we both have beards and stuff. Yeah. Uh, eighteen to hit. Eighteen actually does not hit. Wow, this is not going to go well. Um. Yeah, that's my turn. Cool. Um, so now you guys are going to be, uh, you got the little red caps to deal with. Paulbert, you've got one of them that's going to make some attacks against you. <laughs> and that's going to be, hang on. So how far are we from, like, did we get taken farther away from the red caps or closer? Further away from the red caps. Okay, so, t well, we were at starting point. So, how uh, far were the red caps from the starting point? So they were, um, they're about fifteen feet away from it. So like thirty-five. And you got yeah, you guys got yanked. Or forty now, yeah, yeah, we're like forty feet away. Uh, and. Paulbert, the first attack misses you. That one's good. Okay. So you're going to be hit twice by their sickles. 
their Cicles. And by that I mean the one guy swung on you three times. Jeez. <laughs> For a total of... Eight... 17 damage. Um, and then... Let me see. Grappled means that you guys uh -oh. would make your deck saves at disadvantage. I'm also going to use Uncanny Dodge on that. Okay, so you'll take eight. Grappled. Let me just make sure. Oh. Excuse me. Grappled. Okay. Da, da, da. Okay. Yeah. It looks like you're trying to eat your mic whenever you eat your suit. Or not your mic, but your camera. <laughs> I'm 100% I'm trying to eat my whole computer. Yep. So, uh, Gazeroth and Banran, I need both of you guys to make deck saves with disadvantage, please. Uh, sure. Oh, no. Got a one. Oof. Yeah. Here. So I got a 27 and a 21. Okay. See, so we both had ones in our um, numbers. <laughs> so, Banrin. Oh, jeez, Rick. I mean, if you add my, my saving throw modifier, it becomes a two. But it is a crit fail. <laughs> um, so you are going to take uh, 24 damage as yeah. this red cap hucks himself across the room <laughs> and knocks into your chest full force with iron boots. Uh, and you are also knocked prone. Okay. He's already grappled. Yes, now he's yeah. prone and grappled. I'm pronely grappled. All right. um, and Gazeroth, you are able to the the boots are coming straight for your face, and you're able to just kind of, <gasps> and he misses. <laughs> um, and that's back around to you. All right. Let's see, I'm no longer grappled. So wait, why are you no longer grappled? Oh. You oh, didn't... that's not what the deck save was for. I got... Okay, no, so I need to roll. Was... Yeah, new, new yeah, deck save. Deck now. save was so you didn't get hit in the face. Gotcha. So I need to do another dexterity save at disadvantage to get out. So you'll either do... Um, oh, acrobatics. Acrobatics or so. athletics. Okay, I'll do acrobatics. At disadvantage? No. Or just acrobatics in general? Just okay. in general. All right, that is 29. Yep. <laughs> you get plus out. Four t plus 14. <laughs> yeah, you're out. Cool. That was your action. Yep, I think. that was your action. That was my action. So uh, now you've got a bonus I'm, action if you'd like. I uh, got a bonus action. I'm going to send my dancing short sword to cut Banrin free. Okay, roll the hit. Right. As twenty one. That hits. Roll your damage. That's one D six plus four. That is ten dammies. Alright. Uh you are you successfully cut this tendril off. So now he's just prone. Yep, now he's just prone. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm just prone. And he got kicked real hard by real heavy hard boots. In the chest. In the chest, excuse me. How much health do you have left? Hey, which chest? Oh, uh, 64. Gotcha. <laughs> Take a uh, note. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Yeah. Do, do, do. I am a tank at this point. So, Paul... Me too, apparently. <laughs> Paul Bert, that is you. Yes, um, so, just kind of question for you guys. Should we focus this ugly thing so we can save Santa first? Because he's just taking, like, damage over time, it sounds like. 
Yeah. I mean, we can heal them too, but those mm. little fucking red caps are fucking. They, they are just going to be flinging themselves at us. Right. Constantly. They're like mini. And I know there's. You've already damaged one of them. I damaged them all is... of them. Yeah, all of them have been damaged. One oh, of them true. is dead. Yeah, there's two of them that are pretty close to dying, and then there's another. Oh, yeah, because what, like... what I meant was Polly had hit the, one of the other ones. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Okay, so. I'm. But one of them is right on me, right? Yep. All right, I'm going to bonus action disengage, so he does not get opportunity attack. Okay. Um, and then I am going to run and attack the stalagmite dude. is a 26 to hit. 26 hits. Alright. That is... 17 damage. Alright. And I am also going to use a key point and use stunning strike. So he is stunned till the end of my next turn. If he fails a con save. If he fails a con save, yes. What's your con, what um, the con save? Uh, it's a DC 15. Okay. Hang on. Uh, he actually passes the con save. Um, and then I will attack again, but I'm just going to kind of attack the red cap that's also right there. Okay. So I'm not leaving the combat zone or anything. Uh, that is a 17 to hit. 17 will hit the red cap. Oh, nice. Um, 22 damage. 22 damage. Uh, that one is dead. Nice. So there are two remaining red caps and then the stalagmite. And speaking of the stalagmite... My turn. Uh, let's see. Boop, boop, boop. All right. All of you are grappled. Wonderful. Cool. <laughs> and it is going to reel you all in. And it is going to roll to attack Santa. No, leave Santa alone. I will let you know if it hits. No, don't kill Santa. Minimum damage is enough to kill Santa. No, Santa. So this is a pretty important one. So we're going to box of doom as best I can. Oh my goodness. Santa. So we're looking at this die right here. It has to roll... Uh, let's see, the bite is that. Uh, so we have to roll, um, if it rolls a 10 or higher, Santa dies. Santa! So I'll here we Santa. go. No, 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 Santa! Oof. That's a 16. Yeah, no, Santa! You guys are all grappled, and you watch as this stalagmite reaches down and bites Santa in half. <laughs> Your turn. Um, Emotions, flare up. <laughs> Emotions flare up. Emotions flare up. Yeah, wow. Okay, let's see. Fuck. You have spare the dying. I have I have spare the dying. I just don't I have do any have my resurrections <laughs> on my spell list right now. Do you have revivify? Um, not on me. Because spare the dying is not going to do anything. Because Santa's dead. He's not making death saves. He's dead. Yeah, I don't have it. Um prepared if you would like to retcon and say that you do have it prepared yeah i will allow that let's see i have to get rid of another 
Even if I... Zach is actually sitting right there with you. Yes. Tell her that you fucked up, and because of you, Santa's dead. Oh no! Why? Why was it because of me? Because you're the one that's in the room with her. <laughs> yeah, that's when, fair. When Alan comes back in, Paul's gonna tell him that it's his fault that Santa died. That's okay. We're all. We're. This is a Jewish household. Oh. And oh. Gazeroth or Birdo, you'll tell somebody that you killed Santa. Scotty. Um, Can I use I... my boots of springing to sp spring out? <laughs> am I am I close enough to touch Santa? Uh, technically, yes, but you are also grappled. As long as I as long as I can touch him, I can use Revivify. Yeah, I was I was also gonna say it's like. My boots are striding and springing to like spring to dodge the grapple, basically, <laughs> um, and then go towards Santa and like take the damage instead. <laughs> so, so Banron, roll me a flexibility check. Oh lord! Well, not that die this die. You still have that D eight or um. And I'll let you add athletics to that. And D eight. With athletics, so that makes it an eight plus, so a sixteen. Wow. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so I had the DC in my head at fifteen for that. Uh, yeah. But thanks, uh, Bardic Inspiration. <laughs> with your Bardic Inspiration, your flexibility check was high enough uh, that you are able to uh, reach out with one leg, and you are able to get your big toe. To brush Santa's shin, <laughs> and you are able to cast Revivify. Santa, yes. Revivify. Santa is back up. <clears throat> Santa with one HP. Oh lord. Okay, That's and okay. so I'm gonna go. A little crazy. I guess I'll do a fifth. Well, no, because that's another spell. I can't do anything else. Someone else is going to have to heal him. I got him. Um, I'll say I'm, I'm just a glass cannon. I don't have so heals. Yeah, for, my, uh, for my bonus action, I'll have my spiritual weapon attack the stalagmite monster. Okay. That's definitely not going to hit. That's a 15. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of just chilling now. I got San Santa's technically alive again. Yeah, he's alive. <laughs> he's alive. Uh, the red caps are gonna attack. There are two of them remaining. Uh, one of them is going to swing a sickle at you, Banrin. The other one is going to swing a sickle at you, Gazaroth. So that one is a um uh that's one hit that's two hits that's one miss so that's two hits on Banron which we can roll up real quick for your dammies that's gonna be uh, 17 damage to you, Banron. And that is two hits on you as well, Gazroth. Four. Uh, that is... Ten... Eleven. For 21 damage. Gotcha. Uh, reaction, I'm going to Hellish Rebuke at the third level. Okay. And that's a deck save? Yep, 16. So, uh, he actually passed the deck save, even at disadvantage. Okay. 
rolled gotcha. a natural 15 and a natural 18. Damn. Okay. So it's going to be half of 4d10. So maximum of 20. Oh, because I brought it over to show up on stream. Because I stream hasn't seen it yet. Twenty-eight. So fourteen damage. Fourteen damage. He's still standing. Um, and that is back around to you, Azroth. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go towards. You are grappled. Oh, I am grappled. Fuck. God damn it. Oh, that sucks so bad. I that's love a, this creature. That's an action, too. Fuck. Yeah, it okay. is. God damn it. All right. Uh, I'm going to acrobatics out. So. Twenty-nine. Yep. And then I'm going to bonus action. I'm going to cure, or not cure wounds, but uh, I'm going to do healing word at the fourth level. At Santa. At Santa. All right. Ho, ho, ho! (laughs) I got distracted. My wife is playing Animal Crossing and currently kicking a snowball around on her island. Oh, oh, nice. So, four. 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 What the fuck? Did you <laughs> so just, I just max got... heal Santa? Yeah, I max healed Santa. For, uh... Was it 20? 19 damage. Or 19. 19. 19. Nice. Cool. So he's at 20 hit points. He is. And, and that'll be my turn. So that is over to Pobert. Cool. Hi, uh, So, Acrobats. question, because it doesn't list anything about, like, being if grappled affects this. Shadow Step just says teleport. Yes. Yeah, so can I teleport out of a grapple? Technically, yes, you can Shadow Step out of a grapple. All right. I'm going to Shadow Step out of this grapple. <laughs> Uh, and Shadow Step essentially behind this Blagmite. Okay. And attack. I take. Roll at advantage. Uh, it's a 25 to hit. Uh huh. <laughs> That's 15 for the first. I will attack again. The second one is not at advantage. That's fine. Uh, I still got a dirty 20 on it. 20 hits. That's 17 damage. Okay. Still there. Is he looking kind of iffy? Rocky. I mean, he looks looks like a stalagmite. Okay. Uh. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Okay, uh, my turn. Yes. Guess what he's gonna do? Attack Santa. That is uh, a grapple on Banran, a grapple on Gazaroth. God damn it! Actually, Banran, you're still grappled, aren't you? Yeah, I'm already grappled. Okay, so then that goes to Paulbert. You are grappled. God. Okay. <laughs> Grappled. Um, and pain in my ass. And uh, same shit as before. He's gonna yank you all in and make you watch as he bites Santa. Stop tagging Santa. I was already. Santa. I was already right there. So. <laughs> yeah, you don't go anywhere. The other two do. I'm just chilling next. I'm like, hey, Santa. Uh, definitely, I saved your life. Just remember that. Yeah, he's gonna hit Santa. 
Okay. Stop it. Stop it. Stop hitting Santa. <laughs> I have just been informed that in Animal Crossing you are uh, capable, you do have the ability uh, to roll around a great big snowball and then yeet that bitch off a cliff. Nice. <laughs> I was going to get to, like, to the spot where I can push it, so you have to kick it a couple times, and then you can start pushing it with your hands. No, I was still kicking it, and I got it to the little edge, I said, oh shit, let me try to see if I can get it back, and I just yeeted it off the fucking cliff. Oh, gotta start over on that snowman. So that is... Oh, no. No! Stop it! Just, you just stopped killing again. Santa. Stop it! He's not perma dead. Not be making death saves though. No. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. Um. I can't deal any damage with this damn thing. <laughs> I know. That's why this encounter is fun for me. For you. <laughs> I can't do dammies. <laughs> um. I have to be a healer. That's, uh, yeah, so that's over to Banrin. It, it's a me! Okay, so I'm gonna use my 7th level spell slot to oh, um, cast heal on Santa for 80 hit points. <laughs> <laughs> if that's a big fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Santa... <laughs> Santa. <laughs> Santa Santa's dies, alive, bitch. Helps. Santa's doing fine. <laughs> Santa's doing more than fine. He regained all of his magic powers. <laughs> I do want you guys to know, though, specifically you, Birdo. At the beginning of this encounter, he had thirty-five hit points, and you took him down to eight when you thunderstepped. You almost killed Santa. Wait a minute, this was before we even knew about Santa. Yeah. Yeah, but oh, he was still fuck. there. He was still in the cave. <laughs> we didn't know about him yet. All right, so Banrin, you're done, yeah? Um, No, my uh, oh, yeah, spiritual, spiritual weapon's going to... Weapon. <laughs> it's nah, okay, I done. healed him. What the him. fuck you talking about? I fucking uh, healed him. <laughs> is going to attempt an attack. Against the... Still like, it's not going to hit. Um, it's another 15. Yeah, that'll still not hit. Aren't you grappled though? Yes, but a spiritual. I can weapon, still do matter. stuff. Oh, yeah, my yeah. my my, my the weapon's not grappled. For it. Yeah, my weapon's not grappled. Spiritual sword. So we've got red caps. Um, we've got two of them left. Boop boop. Uh, and they are both going to run around and make attacks against uh Paulbert. Why me? Because you got out. That is a nat 20. Ouch. Uh -oh. That's a hit. That's a miss. Um, cool. It's because you haven't taken any damage so we'll yet. Do <laughs> I've taken a little. Eight. Have you? Yeah. My temporary hit points got knocked down a bit. Plus. You still have temporary hit points is what you're saying. <laughs> Not a lot. <laughs> We started with ten. I haven't even used my my so that my usual armor of Agathus yet. <laughs> uh, so that's twenty eight damage from the first one, and the second one is going to make its attacks. Nice. That's a hit. That's a miss. That's a hit. I'm not happy. These guys have three attacks. <laughs> Uh, and that is another 18 damage. Now I've lost damage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and after them, that's back around to Gazroth. Okay, right. cool. Yeah. You don't have to worry about healing Santa for yep. a moment. Don't have to worry about Santa. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm a Eldritch Blast. I'm gonna use two beams for one of the red caps, and then another beam at 
the other red cap. So that's I'm gonna roll for those. Uh, I don't know but. that you'd be able to see them because Paulbert snuck around to the back side of the, the shadow step behind stalagmite, him. Mm. and they are back there attacking him. Wait, I I can't see them. Uh, you'd be able to see one. You wouldn't be able to see both. Uh, is the other one like hidden behind the stalagmite? Yeah. Like the stalagmite, me, red cap. Okay, then I'll do two at the red cap that I can see, and then one at the stalagmite. Okay, roll the hit. Okay. Uh, first one is. All right, I'm gonna do the first two for the red cap, and then the last one for stalagmite. Okay. Uh, eighteen. Yep. Twenty-one. Yep. And twenty-two. Yep. Oh hell yeah. D ten. That's 19 on the red cap. 19 on the red cap. That and is... 8 on the stalagmite. Cool. So the red cap is dead. And the stalagmite is still a stalagmite. And then I, for my bonus action... Let's see. Uh, bonus action, I'm going to... <laughs> see what I can do. I'm going to yawn. Reaction. Free action. <laughs> Free action. <laughs> Am I grappled right now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, as my bonus action, I'm going to go ahead and make an attack, uh, sending my dancing short sword at the stalagmite. Okay. And then I'm going to use my last Spartac Inspiration to add 3d6 damage. If you hit. If I hit. Knock on wood. That was a nat 20. That's going to hit. Right, so 1d... Okay, how, how... How are you doing the crit again? So, you would do 3d6 plus... Eight, so it's 20, 26. Yeah, so mm -hmm. you would roll your d8 plus your 3d6. And then oh, that's add a d6 20. for the dancing short sword. Oh, so, oh, so 4d6. Yeah, so you would And then roll, add 24? Yeah, roll your, okay. roll your 4d6 and add 24. Gotcha. I just feel like that gives a better opportunity to deal some good damage need it. I should, I should say I need it. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 23, so 47. And that was at the rock? Still like my... Okay. You said 47? Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. So you uh, mentally command your dancing short sword to attack... Um, yeah! And it comes in and ends up hitting right in one of the cracks in the stalagmite next to the mouth and just straight lops the thing in half. And the stalagmite is dead. Oh shit. Oh, so I just did one high note. Yeah! It wasn't doing great, to be honest with you guys. All right, good. You're welcome. Uh, and you guys are no longer restrained, but Santa is uh, still is. Okay. Um, Does that make it my turn? That makes it my turn. Halbert's turn. Oh, and that's right. Sorry. Paulbert, uh, you still have. I'm slow. Slow. Go ahead and attack that red cap. That's yeah, you still, still there. have one more red cap. It's a twenty-five. Yep. I'll yes. roll the second one too, since I'm gonna be doing that anyway. Uh, that is 16. Uh, 16 will hit. Okay. Let's see, not good. That's 12 on the first hit. That one's better. Um, 17 on the second hit. Yeah, you uh, make it die. 
Cool. I stab it, and then I take off his hat and shove it down his throat, so he chokes to death. Cool. Violent. <laughs> cool. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, you guys uh, have um. You guys have done the, that thing, that thing that you you made Santa. Uh, well, he's still stuck in the thing, but you killed a bunch of monsters. Yeah. Can I try to carve him out? Uh, yeah. You try, and then it, you do. Cool. Nice. Um. I shake his hand and then give him my wish list. So, I know that, uh, Birdo, you were waiting for, uh, special repairs, correct? Yes. Okay. Um... So you guys save Santa, whatever. You guys go back to the uh, village. Um, he's sad because there are a lot of dead elves and burned stuff here, but he's still Santa. Um, Again, look at Banner accusingly. <laughs> um, well, to be honest, at this point, one rapier would suffice because I still like my dancing short sword. Uh, and Banner, you were waiting on bracers? I'm trying to double check. I think you were waiting. We were getting you either a bigger sh or a better shield or bracers. Sun bracers. And Paulbert, I don't know that we were wait. I don't know that you had made any requests for like custom magic items. Uh, I mean, I could do with another rapier. Also, my stealth and everything is fine, so I don't really need the magical boots. I'm still going to try to take them from Gazeroth someday, but I don't need them. My boots are jumping, you're leaving Are not Gazeroth. Uh, fucking Gazeroth. Yeah. Gazeroth. Yeah, I think I think it was probably um, a shield. Okay. Um, so Santa looks to each of you, and to thank you, he gives each of you a gift. Um, yes. Gazeroth, you open your gift, and you have a shiny new rapier. Do you, shiny. you currently just have regular ones, correct? No, I have yeah, a rapier plus, plus one. You, okay, you've got a plus one. So this one um, is... I don't know if it'll be in D&D &D Beyond, but I can check. Let me just Never make been sure. Easier. <laughs> Never been easier. Love D&D Beyond. So we're going to manage equipment. Uh, we want magical. Um, so you are going to receive... Uh, plus two... Um, you're, you're going to have to do a little bit of, um, noting in your extras, mm -hmm. um, but you receive a rapier of warning and it is also plus two. Rapier so, warning. yep. So when, um, when danger is within 30 feet of you telepathically you get a ding from your sword all three of you do from this sword um and that is uh that's that thing that happens oh it pretty much it's like kind of like alert yeah it's an alarm it's, it's a danger alarm. alarm for everybody basically yeah yeah because i already have it <laughs> but th that way everyone gets a warning now Ooh, advantage on initiative roll. Oh, that's just... Oh, that's just me. Oh, that, oh that's OP. <laughs> I mean, even though it's already OP, but... <laughs> advantage on initiative rolls. The weapon magically awakens you and your companions within your range. Yep. So, we're just never going to be surprised. We're just going to be very alert. Hell yeah. 
we're 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 all very caffeinated people. <laughs> and I'm looking for. Let's see, what's this one? All oh, right, um, Banrin, you receive a box that is roughly the same size as you. Perfect. And you open her up, and you have received a battering shield. Ooh. This is an iron tower shield that grants you a plus two bonus to AC. Um, and you also um, can use one of the charges, and you've got 1d3 charges that re recharge at dawn. Um, you can push a creature um, within your reach. Or if you're holding the shield and push a creature at least 5 feet away, you can spend a charge to knock it an additional 10 feet, knock it prone or both. Nice. So it's like the um, when uh, when Black Panther's suit gets all the saved up kinetic energy. Basically, it's that. And our dear friend Pulbert, you. Let's see. So you receive a shoebox. Shoebox? A shoebox. <laughs> you open your shoebox. Uh-oh. And uh -oh. in your shoebox are a pair of uh, Air Herc sandals from Hercules. <laughs> <laughs> you got a fresh pair of Air Hercs with the, the little, with the little wing on the back of them. Uh, and they are technically winged boots, which allow you, while you wear them, uh, you have a fly speed equal to your walking speed, and you can fly for up to four hours. Hell yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I can finally fly. I believe I can fly. <laughs> I believe I can touch the sky. Hey, baby. I think about it every night and day. What are you doing? Spread Polly's wings and fly away. Oh, he believes he can soar. Uh -huh. You see him clawing at the open door. He uh, believes he can fly. He does. And he I does. believe that we can stop using semi-copyrighted music. Yeah, we can. <laughs> I don't think it was technically close enough. No, I don't um, think so. We were, we were vibing. It was a we great vibing. rendition. We were vibing hard. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that is actually going to be the end of today's session. Congratulations. The hunt has saved Santa. Um, You're welcome. Brought him back the, to life. While the adventure Santa. was not canon, actually, I'm making the adventure canon because I want you guys to actually have those items. Perfect. <laughs> so you guys are good to go. You've got your fancy new uh, gifts from Santa. Um, mm -hmm. Thanks, okay, Santa. Yes. Yeah, uh, Had fun. Thank Hell yeah. Santa. That is going to be the end of stream today. Um, <clears throat> so I, uh, once again, I want to thank everybody in chat for watching. Um, you watching means we get to keep doing this and doing what we love to do. Um, we are still waiting to hear back uh, for whether or not we've been approved for Patreon. Um, keep an eye on socials. We will get that up as soon as we are. Um, there's dogs barking upstairs. One of them is probably mine. Um, ours. I've been corrected. There he is. Um, keep an eye on uh, YouTube. This will be going up on YouTube as a uh, video later on uh, this week. I think the hunt will probably go up Tuesday. Lyra will go up Thursday. Um, speaking of which, the new episode of Lyra is on YouTube. Um, <clears throat> check it out on the Game Daddy's Amateur Hour channel. 
Uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe over there. Give us a follow on all of our socials, which I uh, will be putting up now. Um, those are there. Uh, once we get more updates, Patreon-wise, that'll be listed there as well. Um, we are also... I have received the final... Um, the final designs for excuse me our first little bits of merch we're doing a couple of enamel pins uh i will be announcing later on when those go up <clears throat> excuse me um the hunt will not be playing next week um the hunt will also not be playing the week after next because the week after next is the day after christmas yes. um so uh merry christmas happy holidays happy hanukkah whatever it is you celebrate we celebrate it with you uh, on amateur hour, um, please be safe. Enjoy your holiday season, uh, and we love you. And we will see you soon. Bye, guys. Bye. See ya. <laughs>